My dear friends, we come together. We have to offer ourselves to God and each other in the holy bond of marriage. I have a few scriptures here. Old Testament, Proverbs 31 and 10. Oh, yes, that's one of my favorite. And also the New Testament, we have Ephesians 4, 2 and 3. And did you want that for me to read those? Amen. I'm going to pull those up right now. We're going to, uh, first we're going to, first we are going to, yes. Proverbs 31. Thank God for technology. I'm actually better with the hard copy. Proverbs 31 and 10, correct? Proverbs 31 and 10. And it says, a wife of a noble character, who can find one? Somebody said, Mr. Terry. <laughs> she is worth far more than rubies. Her husband has full of confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. She brings him good and not harm all the days of her life. And then we have, of course, our New Testament, Ephesians 4, uh, 2 through 3. Ephesians. Ephesians 4, verses 2. It says, be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace. Amen, amen. Oh, excuse me. There is one body, one spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you were called. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, one Father. All who is over all and through and all in all. God is our all in all. So God, we ask that you will be there all in all as they walk in one. Now, uh, you guys, we come together to establish the marriage for our welfare and enjoyment. Marriage makes sacred the union between man and woman and offers to each other the opportunity to grow together in more complete manhood and womanhood. Our Lord has declared that a man shall leave his parents and shall unify to his wife. He has commanded through his apostles that the husband and the wives love and cherish each other throughout their lives and that they shall live and give each other strength and compassion, understanding together to share their joys and pains. The Creator offers to them the privilege and responsibility of parenthood and joining them, they support each other in this sacred opportunity with all affection and concern that their children might see in their marriage the bond and the love and the good things that come from being sanctified in our homes. These two have therefore traveled separate ways to come now to be made one. And if any here gather can show any just cause why they may not lawfully be joined together in marriage, declare it now or else forever hold your peace and remember I'm holding mine. If you two see also if there's any reason that you should not be joined in marriage, you must now confess it or forever hold your peace. Amen. You guys may uh, grab hands together. I'm going to give you a bouquet. And you guys may turn towards one another. Grow in character for 
fulfillments. May they have the strength to share each other's joy and sorrows, continually bearing one another's burdens. May their temptations be few, and may they always be ready to forgive each other, even as though this as Christ forgives the church. We ask in your name, Jesus Christ, who has taught us to pray, our Father. Amen. Okay, this is this part of the section where you guys of the ceremony when you're going to exchange your vows to one another. Amen.
the man and the woman in endless love. The rings are a symbol of civilization of being able to take wear and be able to go through things from the hard times in life. And that your ring can make it through and always keep it with you. If you forget it, you turn yourself back around and make it home. Amen. These rings here. This one, the first one's yours, Terry. And this one is yours. Okay. Uh, Mr. Terry, you will be first. You will repeat after me. I give this ring. I give this ring to you as a token of covenant. To a token of covenant. Made between us this day. Made between us this day. As a pledge of our mutual love. As a pledge of our mutual love. In the name of the Father. The Son, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. You may place the ring. You got to be still. You this before. You got the big one. You shake it. You got to be still. <laughs> there we go. That's up there. Now, Sister Chapman, repeat after me. I give this ring. I give this ring. To you as a token of covenant. Made between us this day. Made between us this day. And as a pledge. And as a pledge. Of our mutual love. Of our mutual love. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Come on, you guys may put your hands together. <laughs> we will now come to sign for your marriage license. We will have some soft violinists as they sign. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. All of your paperwork and life, you do it together. Okay. So it's, it's just me.
go to our sand ceremony. And your sand ceremony is where you have, where you have, where you have the black, which is the male, and also you have uh, the pink, which is the female. Sister Chapman, that was yours. Sister Chandra, that was yours. And Brother Terry, that was yours. As you guys are pouring, I want you guys to just bow your head. Well, still look so you can make sure you get it in the, the glass. But just pray. Pray that God makes you one, keeps you as one. Well, one wants to make another decision to pray until the other one comes around. Amen? You guys may begin to pour. We want to pour together. Pour, let him pour some too. Sister Chandler, he can put a little blue in the house. Just a little blue. Yeah, she said, she said, I'm going to go ahead and now. Yes. Amen. It's some give and it's some take. But through it all, it's a mixture of both of you guys. Because you're no longer separate. But now you've become one. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for this unit. Prosperity. Love and joy. It's amazing. Such a beautiful experience. That looks nice. Amen. Come on, y'all, put your hands together. This one, Mr. Terry. Sister Chandra. What I want to say about these candles, they're lit in their own way. Today would be the last time that you will see these candles or see yourself as an individual. Today, as you, go ahead, Sister Chapman, go ahead and grab this candle. Brother Terry, go ahead and grab that candle. As you light this candle, remember, you're lighting this and coming one. Yes, you were beautiful. Yes, you were gleaming. Yes, you were great as an individual. But now, your light is shining as one. All the cultures, all the things that you had as an individual, those things are now pulled into one person, one unit, that you'll be strong together. And all the things of your past and who you were as an individual is now gone. And we celebrate now the unity as you guys have become one. Come put your hands together. Now we come to the best part of the service. They're shouting up here, y'all. They're shouting. They're excited. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Now we're, we're, we're ready. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you. We thank you as this unit has become one, God. God, that no weapon formed against them will be able to prosper. We speak the blessings, Lord God, that you would keep them, Lord. Keep them together, Lord. Let their light shine as one. Lord, lift up their, their love and keep it their anniversary, God. The honeymooning every single day. Compromise and honor and cherish one another. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Okay, you guys, by the, the Lord, by the power that God has invested in me as the pastor, is that everything on our order of service? All right, well, Mr. Terry, Sister Chandra, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you now Mr. Terry and Chandra Jones. You may now...
Kiss Your Wife. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand in celebration of this newly couple. We jumping the broom. Congratulations. Woo! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Yes, come on, put your hands together for Mr. and Mrs. Jones. Marriage is a beautiful thing. All right, you guys, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to now, do the, you guys can keep the music going. We thank you, Lord God, for everyone that's come to celebrate their life today and their, their wedding and their love and unity as one. We ask, Lord, that we have a great time. We bless the food and the hands that prepared it. In Jesus' name, and we all said amen, amen, and amen. This is the benediction for after the reception. Now unto him who's able to keep us from falling, to find us spotless in your glory, Lord God. As we leave this place, but never your presence, in Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen.